Hi everyone, we are in the garage today. We are making some trellises for the raised beds in the backyard. I wanna get my squashes, uh, cucumbers, you know, those kind of softer vegetables, and get them off the ground growing vertically. Um, you saw in one of our previous videos, we do have some garden pests. So my original idea was to just let them all, you know, sprawl across the ground. You know, these are very quick growing. We can overtake uh, the, the beds pretty easily, but with, rabbits or deer whatever in the area that are eating these plants i want to try to get them off the ground i'm pretty sure it's rabbits and so as soon as i can get them you know out of the rabbit's reach then the leaf should be able to grow pretty quickly so what we've got we've got our, our saw we've got some one by two boards we're going to make some stakes and create these vertical lattices that are going to look great in the backyard Okay, so what we've got now, I've laid the slats across the floor that are gonna make up my trellis. All I gotta do is square it up, then tack them down into place. Just gonna use some short screws there, and then we'll take it up the hill. Dang, that looks so good. Yeah, it's so nice. Hey. <laughs> All right, well, you wanna go take it up the hill with me? Yes. All right, let's go put it in. All right, guys, we're headed up the hill, and luckily this time, I've got a mallet. I'm really excited. This would have been so useful building those raised beds. You remember all that work? Oh yeah, 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 I got tired just watching you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're gonna go put this in. So my makeshift little cage has been working, but yesterday, what did we find? Five sparrows in there. They were inside, inside the cage. Eating bugs, hopefully, but also looked like they wrecked one of my little seedlings in there, but we're gonna have to take that down to put the new trellis in, so. We can put it on the back. Yeah, but you know, the, the cucumbers and the squash there, they need to be able to get through the netting and up, so. I think we'll at least need to uncover that one side. So let's do that. All right, 
So we got the trellis in, didn't even need the mallet as it turns out. But uh, we're kind of gonna try to train the cucumbers, the zucchini and the watermelon up this guy. As it starts bearing fruit, we might even want to create these like slings for the fruit so that they don't pull the vines off the trellis. And um, so we'll show you guys that when it comes time. Um, otherwise, we're gonna try to trim off some of the trick and wire here that is kind of inhibiting the uh, vines from being able to grow up the trellis. But see if we'll we'll put it around the backside and prevent any bunny rabbits from trying to nibble on the plants from the backside until they can get further up the trellis. So check that out. guys uh, as you can see it didn't take very long and now we've got this beautiful trellis that will allow all of these vine type plants to just crawl right up I forgot to mention at the beginning part of the reason why I'm doing this is because I saw hints of powdery mildew on my cucumbers and if you've seen my previous videos I hate powdery mildew it's like my number one nemesis I lost tons of plants in San Diego due to powdery mildew so clipped a couple of leaves that I saw that were showing those first signs. Trellising them up will allow more airflow to get through, help dry out those leaves and let them get warm and off the humid ground. So should help me keep these plants for a long time. I am gonna treat them a little bit later with a bit of a mixture of soap and baking soda. Should help dry out those leaves and keep that powdery mildew under control. So if you've liked what you've seen, if you think this is a great idea, leave us a like or a comment down below. And of course, Click like and subscribe for us so that we know that you like our videos and that you want to keep watching. So stay tuned and we'll see you next time. Thanks.